trying my first test print at 0.8 millimeter with a 0.6 millimeter uh, layer height. Trying to make a pretty big vase and I didn't want it to take uh, 24 hours. So yeah, going big or go home, you know what I'm saying? Christmas presents, you know, you gotta get them done. Well, let's hope this goes good. Still running the longer. Hey, hey, what's going on? So, I got a great video. Uh, 10 great things about the longer LK1. First things first is you got the price. So, you know, you can definitely do really high quality prints for 210 to 230 bucks, depending on the price you find this thing at super cool like amazing price and what you get for the price is absolutely amazing this thing can keep up with a 400 hundred dollar printer all day long no questions asked so that's number one all right number two is setup setup is so super easy on this guy we've got you just basically pull it out and you attach that that's it it's set up it's done that's all you have to really do that's it. It's like, I don't even know, like eight nuts or something, eight screws. So super easy setup. <clears throat> we will get into setup a little more detail though. But like, as far as that, you might get lucky and that's all you have to do. Boom, bam, you're done. Piece of cake, you're off to the races, you know. Um, number three, construction quality. So like, this thing is solid. Like, it is so solid. <laughs> Um, everything about it is done solid. It's, it's really great. It's, you know, I mean, this is aluminum here. It's not printed plastic. There's no printed plastic on here except for, uh, the little fan shroud. That's it. I mean, that comes pre-installed. Like, I added stuff, but, you know, that's it, you know. Um, and then upgradeability. So, number four, upgradeability. Um, what have I done to upgrade this? So, I've insulated the bed with uh i forget what it is it's like 10 millimeter plus it's got some whatever it really helps hold bed temperature uh keeps it solid warms up faster all that stuff you know you can use like creality stuff on it like um this you can upgrade the hot end you know just like you would any other printer so basically it's the same printer as the creality 10 printer uh the 10s actually um, it's, it's better than the 10S and some specs, you know, just, I don't know, different board in here or something, but like I said, um, same thing here. You've got the one rod, it slides here. It's, it's, you're basically buying a CR-10S with, uh, some upgrades for half the price. Uh, fifth, reliability. This thing is super reliable. I mean, if you can't get a long print out of it, uh, there's something going on in your settings, your leveling's off, it's not sticking to the build plate. That's definitely operator error. I mean, check your bed, maybe it's not like actually level. You might need to bend it or order a new top for it or have somebody replace that. You know, send, send them an email, put a level on it, whatever you gotta do, you know. But if you're not getting consistent, long, like I've run this thing for 24 hours, you know. Just straight one print. So, I mean, and it turned out great. So yeah and uh what do we got build size so like i said it's like a cr10 cr10s build size you know huge 400 300 300 huge build area all right and number seven is um what is it 24 volt heated bed so instead of 12 volts like the creality 10 like i was saying some things are upgraded on the L longer LK1, which is, um, it will heat up twice as fast. Like, if you're waiting 10 minutes on the CR10 to warm up to temp or whatever, or the CR10S, you're going to be waiting 5 minutes on the longer LK1. With an insulated bed, you may only be waiting 4, bit, four minutes, you know, and it'll hold that temp really good if you insulate the bed. You're going to insulate the bed on either one, depending on what material, material you're going to want to use. So that is way cool right there. Um, so yeah, 24 volt system. 
eighth is um, 32 gig memory card. So instead of eight, you know, because it's hard. You have to like go and search to find an eight gig memory card. You know, I mean, they're super cheap and everything, but with the um, longer LK1, you can actually put a 32 gig memory card in there and it works just fine. You do have to go and update the firmware, which I have a video on, super easy. So, you know, there's that. Um, there's more detail about that in my other videos. Uh, ninth, touchscreen. Touchscreen's cool. This one is kind of finicky. You kind of got to click it, but there's also a firmware update that kind of fixes that too. And, you know, but for those guys who don't want to just deal with the knob, you know, you know how those potometers or whatever go out, like in your car stereo, you turn it to the right, you turn it to the right, it just doesn't work and you have to replace it. Um, you don't have to deal with that. You got a touch screen. You know, if the touch screen goes out, you do replace the touch screen. But I don't know what's going to go out faster, a knob or a touch screen. That's kind of your thing, you know. But, I mean, it seems kind of quicker to hit a touch screen than it does to have to scroll through a dial. <clears throat> so, I mean, you could take that either way. To me, it's kind of an upgrade, you know. But, you know, to another person, they might not care. And number 10, tools. I know most printers come with tools maybe all printers come with tools but this one does come with some nifty tools you know they give you a, a lot of the stuff you need you know scraper all that stuff all the tools to work on it here is a uh, 0 0.4 millimeter print on the longer LK1 so If you're curious about quality, and this is a crazy shiny filament. Here is another print, not quite finished yet, so got to get a lid on it. And then, like, uh, if you're wondering about tolerances, I mean, look at these tolerances. Look at this. That's as hard with one hand. Yeah. Like, everything works really good. You know? I did have to put silicone in there to actually make it slide easier, <laughs> but it works great. All right, peace out, bye. All right, so I couldn't just do a video on good stuff. I gotta put some stuff out there that, you know, the bad stuff that you don't like. So I, I dug hard and I dug deep and I came up with three things I don't like about the longer LK1. So, um, when you do build it, you do have to go through everything. I mean, you have to go through all the wheels, make sure they're tight enough or loose enough. I heard one guy's hot end just fell off, so check the bolts on that. Um, what else? Uh, just go through all everything, make sure everything's smooth. Uh, my belts were loose when I got it, so make sure your belts are tight. I had to actually learn, because I've never used a 3D printer before, so I had to learn how tight to actually put them to actually get, you know, good quality prints. So that's definitely something you'll have to do. Just check everything, you know, I mean, build it, you know, give it a go through, do a test cube. Things don't sound right. Things look a little funny, you know, start checking stuff, you know, however you want to go about it. If you want to just build it and double check everything, do that. So that is definitely one bad thing. Um, number two is you do have to upgrade your firmware. I mean, if you want the better touch grit, touch screen, you want to be able to use a bigger memory card. Uh, you want everything to just flow better, a little quicker, you know, I mean, you can go down uh, their list on what their firmware actually updates when they update it. Uh, maybe if you're buying one now, you might not have to. I don't know. You might have to just check what firmware you have installed, but that's super easy to do. I show you in a different video. Um, yeah. And three, Cura settings. You have to use the AlphaWise U20 as your Cura settings because they're like sister machines. 
So to me, that's a down thing. I don't know if that makes difference to anybody else, you know, but yeah. <laughs> All right, bye. Check that out though. It's looking good. And that's at uh, 0.8 millimeter. Super clean. So I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, for the price, you get your tools, you get uh, it's basically an upgraded CR10. Uh, as long as you can update the firmware, you know, it may be better than a CR10S. I don't know. Like, I've never had a CR10S, but I know this one is advertised to print speeds up to 120 or 150 millimeters. I've never pushed it that far. Like this print, I'm just putting it at 60 just because I want the quality good because I've got a thick print going on. I pushed it up to 75 before and got super good quality. I mean, you do have to make sure you put like foam down and stuff like that to get rid of ghosting and all that normal stuff, you know, like there's little stuff you have to go through. All right, time for everyone's favorite part. So are you ready for the magical Cura settings for your longer LK1 using an eight or a 0.8 millimeter nozzle? Well, yeah, I was watching a lot of stupid fast videos on how to print stupid fast. Doesn't that look amazing? Looks amazing. So I used 0.8 millimeter nozzle and I went with 0.6 layer height. But, get ready for it. Uh, the same thing when you use a four millimeter nozzle, you use a two millimeter layer height and you can you know, go up like half a millimeter or down a half a millimeter to get it better or worse, whatever. Same thing applies here. Booyah. So when it hit that super bad angle, if I would have just clicked four, and it would have taken an extra hour. If I would have clicked four millimeters, I'm sure it would have gotten that angle. Look how steep that angle is. It's a pretty steep angle. But yeah, look at this gapping. I'm gonna let it finish, but now I know. So if you're using a um, 0.8 millimeter nozzle, and you're trying to go stupid fast, uh, if you want quality and you have a lot of angles, put it on 0.4 millimeter height on your Z. Unless you don't have, if you don't have a lot of angles like this, this turned out perfect. Look at that. So if you're just doing something that's like super low profile angles, definitely you can do six and it will come out looking amazing. Oh my gosh. Zoom. There we go. You see that? That's like perfect. But when it came up here, no, that's so steep. Such a steep angle. So yeah, definitely uh, put it at 0.4 if you're using a 0.8. And if you're using a, a 1 millimeter nozzle, put it at 0.5. Heck yeah. You use a lot of material though. Like, I chug through material, but it's so hard. It's like it's so thick all right so those are your magic numbers for um, using that size nozzle I'm kinda just I just want to let this finish so maybe I'll upload this video or maybe I'll show you guys the end we'll see all right test print is done can we get it off can I uh, hold on all right, test print is done. So as you can see, eight millimeter at six is freaking gorgeous. It looks amazing. But when you hit these angles, no, and then you come back up and it looks fine. So it's just these angles right here. So like maybe if when you're in vase mode, Definitely, definitely do it in 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is going to be where you're at if you're using a 0 0.8. And um, you might be able to get away with 0.5 if your angles aren't that steep. But 
I don't even know if you can see this. Just look at that. It looks. Oh my gosh. Come on. Where's the light? It looks so good. And then right here, it's just like, no. And then back up here, it's like, yeah, that looks good again. Um, but we learned. This was our test print. So as you can see, it's huge. And I have really, really big hands. So, you know, that's, that's, that's good size. <laughs> I could drink out of this thing. This thing is a mug. And it's so thick. Holy shit, that thing's thick. Oh, man. I mean, it, it's pretty strong, too. I mean, yeah. Even right here where it's all, like, messed up. That really sucks. So, but now I know. So I may do um so I may do a point uh point one millimeter nozzle, I think is what it is. Or a one point oh, I guess. And uh at point five. So definitely just half of what your nozzle is, I think is gonna be good. Just for angles like this, but that's that's pretty strong man. Jeez, I'm surprised on how thick this is oh my gosh this is feels so good all right well that was the test print so i'm glad i wasted all this filament uh so you guys now know um at least do half the width of your nozzle for your z-axis i think it's the best way i can describe that otherwise you wind up with this when it comes to crazy angles but like this man if you're doing something like this you could definitely get away with it it looks so good Man, that's just a shame, man. Look at that. And up here looks so good. Jeez. Look at that. Hey, we got a string on there. Still got a string. Man, I like that though. God, that's so stiff. Jeez. I'm excited. It's really cool. Alright, peace out, bye. Hope you guys learned something. I definitely did. So, um, we're all the better for it now that we both, all, however many people watch this, know that now we know what to do. Okay, bye. And last but not least, the best thing about the, the greatest thing about the longer LK1. RGB, baby. RGB. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. I mean, it's not as good as this, but it's it, it's pretty good. Look at that. Yes. Peace out. Bye.